Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aixa, and today we are playing with some makeup, with some makeup, with some makeup. Ooh. So today we are playing with the 10M Midnight Gleaming from Morphe. I've also bought the lip gloss and the lashes, the confetti lashes. Everything is still like brand new packaging, like ready to go. So let's take the lip gloss and lip gloss and lip, lip, lip gloss and look how pretty this is. <gasps> and then let's all come down and look at this beautiful palette. Everything still in packaging. Everything still brand new. Haven't touched it, haven't looked at it. You guys ready for it? Ooh, uh, look how pretty. So I'm kind of sad that it doesn't have a mirror. Um, But let's take this off because it's reflecting off. I'm gonna keep that though because I needed to tell you the names. But let's take a better look at this. How pretty is it? So let's talk about some names here. Let's focus that none of these are mattes. They're all shimmer. All shimmer. What am I gonna do with all shimmer? Oh my God. My heart's racing now, my heart's racing. Okay, so let's start with some names. Okay, so we have, coming down this way, we have Countdown. Drippin' Diamonds, Kiss Me, Invite Only, 12 O'Clock, Champagne Toast, Golden Moments, Sparklers, Swanky, and Black Tie. So this was originally for like, you know, the New Year stuff, stuff, but I never got around to play with it. Um... But here we are now. I also ordered it when I ordered the unboxing. I mean, I'm not the unboxing. The mystery box of brushes from Morphe, obviously, um, that I did unbox. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. Um, if you love brushes as much as I do, you should watch it. Um, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's start playing with this. But let's focus. Wait. Before we start playing, let's focus on these lashes. Look at that, it has gold in it. I'm gonna be gleaming today, baby. And I have somewhere to be today, so I'm gonna go with my face looking like boop, boop, boop. How about we just zoom you guys in and let's get started. Okay, so now that we are up close and personal, my eyebrow has been itching. Oh, yep, that's why, you see that redness here? I think I'm gonna get a pimple in my eyebrow. That's gonna be fun. So before we do anything, we're gonna drink some coffee. And now we're gonna work on the eyebrows. So we are going to take the Morphe M158 spoolie and angled brush. And we are using the uh, Brow Bar by Rima today. Um, so let's just take this stuff out so it doesn't fall as I do my brows. Um, first thing we're gonna do is get a mirror. Okay, so now that we got the mirror, we're gonna spoolie out the brows. Brows are spoolied, so now it's time to dip into the wax and the dark, well, the black, and we are gonna use that to great my brow edge. We're gonna use that to do the bottom and top lining, and then we're gonna dip into the dark brown to do most of the filling.
Okay, so now that the brails was done, this side look a little thicker, don't it? So let's talk about this real quick, right? It is 70 degrees outside, basically, and it is January in Jersey. It shouldn't be 70 degrees. So now everyone's outside acting like it's summertime. So you get all the horns, the motorcycles, all that good stuff, and they like don't care that I'm trying to film or anything. How rude. So anyways, we're going to carve the brows now. And we're going to be using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 20 and the Morphe M421 Mini Flat Brush here. We're going to put a little bit of this in the back of my hand and we're going to carve out the brows. Now that the eyebrows are carved out, we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel and we're gonna glue down these brails. So now we're gonna go in with the P. Louise base to prime the lids and then I'm using the Morphe M170-8. This dash gets me all the time. Um, it's a lip brush, but you know, a flat synthetic. We're just gonna put a little bit of the base on the back of my hand, and then we're going to dab it on. Okay, so now that we got the lids primed, we're gonna start with the ojos. And we're gonna do the we're gonna do the we're gonna use the Morphe M518 fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with the shade. Let me take this off. We're gonna ooh champagne. Oh damn, I just jumped my finger in it. Champagne toast right here. Jump my finger. I'm gonna commit a crime and I'm gonna put this into my crease because I'm only using this palette for my eyes. Hopefully it works out very well, guys. I am not confident in this look. So we'll see what happens. What is going on here? This, I need coffee. Shake off some nerves in this thing. So now we're gonna go in with the Morphe 513, which is another fluffy brush, but it's a little bit more um, tapered in. So it's easy to get into like a crease, crease or crease, crease thing. And we're gonna go in with the shade. Gotta get the paper out. Um, swanky. Oh, the purple one right here, and we're gonna put it in the crease. This purple is looking a little gray now. Oh, I'm falling apart. So this is going to be a fast look then because I'm going to get this all over with. We're going to take the Morphe 433 um, flatter tapered brush and we're going to go into black tie. Black one right, oh, black one right here. And we're going to put that on the outer V of the eye, blending it in a little bit.
Okay. Um, I didn't want it to be this dark, but it's kind of looking better that it's dark. Just a little bit. So now we're gonna take this Wet n Wild flat brush here, and I'm actually going to spray it with the Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm gonna dip into the shade Sparkles, which is this one right here. And we're gonna tap that onto the lid. And with the same brush, we're gonna use the other side because I only used one side of it. We're just gonna spray that side. And we're gonna go in with the shade Golden Moment. This one right here. And we're going to put it on top just to give it a little bit more sparkle. I feel like if everything wasn't so shimmery on like the crease and the outer corner, this will be really cute. I mean, the outer corner is not that shimmery. Okay, wait. That's just my face with all this glitter I put on. Oh my god. So, let's move on. We're gonna put on some mascara and we're using the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. So now that we have some mascara on, it's time for lashes. And we are using the Confetti Lashes by Morphe. Okay, lashes on. Look at all this glitter, glitter. We're soaring, flying. Honestly, I thought the gold was gonna be a lot more noticeable from like a distance than it is. Maybe the camera's just not picking it up. Maybe like in person, it's like pop out. Let me see. Let me see. In person, you can see it a little bit more than you can on the camera, but it's still not that like pop, pop, pow, you know? Anyways, so now we're going to start the face and we are going to prime using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating hyaluronic acid primer so we're gonna put a pump on the hand ooh, ooh, ooh. that was a lot a lot a lot so now we are going to put on some foundation and we're using the i am magic by juvia's place in the shade 610 and we are going to be using the Y6 brush from Morphe. And we're going to put some of this in the brush. That might be just a little too much. And you're just going to... Oh, oh, yeah, that's a lot of... A lot of too much. Okay. Well, today we are full coverage in... Okay, today we're full coverage. Well, we're full coverage today now, aren't we, queen? So now we're going to take this uh, CNC Conceal and Contour R Kit by Kiss. Um, it's basically the color correctler, color correctler, correctler, corrector, and this is the shade orange. And we're just gonna put some of this under the eyes. If we're gonna go, if we're gonna be. So it's kind of broken. So I'm just going to take the top off and put it on that way. Yep. 
We're just gonna dab, dab, dab. My laugh was fab. Oh, need more. Life is fab. We're gonna dab, dab, dab. That's my life of broken items. And we're gonna take this uh, Juno & Co. ES06 brush and we're just gonna blend that out really quick. We are gonna be very full coverage today. We're gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 20. And we're gonna highlight under the eyes and, well not highlight, conceal under the eyes and on the face. And we're gonna use this Wet n Wild brush to um, like flat face brush and uh, blend it out. So today we're gonna go very full coverage and very cut out so we're gonna cream contour today and we're using the Fenty Beauty um, matchstick in the shade cinnamon Morphe E7 brush to blend it all out. I got a little bit of cream contouring in. Just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. I didn't want to go all out. Because I'm still going to bronze the skin. Ooh, push this hair back, baby girl. Push the hair back. But first we're going to set the face with the Jeffree Store setting power, pow, power powder in the shade Topaz. So we're just going to tap some of this onto the lid. Ooh. Today we're using this Tarte brush with no name on it and we're just going to set the eyes and the rest of the face. So now that the face is set, it is time to bronze up the skin. And we're using the Coconut Beach by ColourPop. And we're gonna use this Morphe M495 brush and we're just going to bronze up. Okay, so now that we are bronzed up, bronzed up, bronzed up, we are going to rosy up the cheeks and we're gonna use the Serafina blush from Juvia's Place. And we're gonna go in with the Y5 from Morphe and we gonna rosy up the cheeks. Okay, so now it's time to get back to the lash, I mean, not the lash, the bottom lash line. Um, um, have no idea what I'm gonna do, but we'll figure it out. So, I'm really confused, I'm conflicted. Like, what do I want to do at the bottom? Do I want to keep the theme going? 
yeah let's go so I'm gonna go in with the shade 12 o'clock which is okay not okay this one right here in the corner and I'm gonna go in with this Morphe R34 brush and we're gonna put that in the inner corner towards the center So now we're going to take this Morphe M506 brush and we're going to dip into Drippin' Diamonds. This one right here. I hate that I have to keep going like this and like this. Like Morphe, I love that you guys do this, but let's be real. A lot of us just throw this away. Anyway, we're going to put that in the middle to outer corner of the eye. Okay, so... I actually want to make it a little bit darker, so with the same brush, I'm going to just literally lightly dip into the black tie, I think it was called, and put it on the outer to darken it up, connecting it to this, yeah. Ooh, okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. So, we're going to take this Morphe Holiday Collection brush. And we're gonna dip into Countdown, which is this one right here. Goodness, right here. And we're gonna put that in the inner corner of the eye. <laughs> Guys, we finished the look. <laughs> we finished the look. I'm kind of well I still need to put mascara and stuff but I'm finished with the eyelash the eye, like, eyeshadow and I'm kind of excited because I was so 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 nervous and I'm not that mad at it like yeah the crease is a little shimmery but like let's be real like from a distance it just looks like it's the glitter that I put on that's more shiny so it's like taking over so it actually looks pretty good Woo! so we're gonna go back in with the uh, lights camera lashes mascara and we're gonna put on the bottom lashes Lashes do not want to show. <sighs> so, you know what I gotta do? Just a little bit of um, liner, and I'm gonna put it from the Hakari eyeliner. All right, I didn't want to put too much eyeliner on because I don't want it to like take over the look. I just wanted it to like so you could see my lashes more. So I just lightly lined my eyes. Um, and it doesn't look bad, honestly. So excited. So now it's time to highlight. So we're gonna use the Glaze Lip Kit by Laurel Los Angeles in the shade Glow Gal. And we're just gonna highlight. And we're, oh, we're using the AOA Studio F19 brush. And it's time to set the face and we're going to use the Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. Okay, and it's time for lip and so I'm going to take it off. So we're going to use the Tarte um, Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Culotta. And now we're going to top it off with a Midnight Kiss from Morphe. I'm low-key obsessed with the lipstick. I mean with the lip gloss, like the formula of it. And this is the final look using the 10M palette, the, the confetti lip lashes, and the Midnight Kiss lip gloss. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys out. Hey. What did you guys think of the palette? What did you guys think of the lip gloss? What do you guys think of the lashes? 
I feel like for the gold, the lashes are very, like, it's very subtle, you know? Because I thought it was going to be like, bam, 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 like, take over the whole look. But it actually, it works. And I like that a lot. Um, the lip gloss is so nice. I love the formula. The palette is so, like, these, the pigment, well, Morphe shadows are great at all. But, like, look at that. I thought I was... I was gonna look like boo boo the fool. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know down below what you would like to see. Any palettes you want me to play with, any boxes you want me to open. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bull button. Did I just say bell button again? Bell button down below. So you can be notified when I upload. And see if I end up flopping or dropping it like it's hot. Because none of those work together. But thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.